We have got to work fast and we have got to work hard. Let's go. All right, so I've got a great core workout for you right now, and all you're gonna need is a nice, heavy kettlebell, and if you don't have a kettlebell, you could grab a dumbbell, but that's all you're gonna need for this workout. We're gonna start with a kettlebell swing, so everyone's gonna grab your kettlebell, stand it up really tall. What I wanna see you do is use power in the hips, you guys. From here, you're gonna sink down, and then pop that bell right over your head. Control on the way up, and control on the way down. Everyone together, we're gonna pop up here, lift. Now, for my modifiers, keep going, just give me a couple of these. For my modifiers at home, you're gonna be following my girl Courtney right now. She's gonna be going right about eye level here. You're gonna make sure that the hips are strong and popping that weight up. I don't want you to go ahead and rest, you guys. What I don't wanna see you guys do at home is try to lift with arm strength that bell. I want you to use your body. This is a good fat burning workout that you're gonna be able to feel your whole body working. Now, here's the workout. We've got the kettlebell swings, we're going American, except um, for those of you that are gonna be starting out first, you're gonna follow Courtney, we're gonna go Russian, which is eye level. American is gonna go all the way up. From there, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift high pull. The same um, kettlebell you're gonna grab, you guys grab it. You're gonna take that bell all the way to the ground and then pull right up underneath your chin. Do a couple of these, you guys. Lift. Now again, my modifiers at home are gonna follow Courtney. Notice how she's going only about halfway down. Body weight stays in the heels. Again, go ahead and rest. Again, power in your hips, because you want to make that bell become weightless. That's what you're looking for. From there, we're going to do V-ups. Everyone down on the ground, please. My modifiers at home, notice how Courtney's going to have her hands behind her head, and she's going to tuck her knees into her chest. I've got Brandon back here going full V-ups right here. Yes, Brandy doing the exact same thing. Everyone rest. I want you to save your strength. Go ahead and stand up. So. This wad, this Skinny Rules core workout is going to be a rep scheme of 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. That's right, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. We're gonna start with 50 kettlebell swings. From there, we're gonna go into 50 sumo deadlift high pulls. From there, we're gonna go into 50 V-ups. And then guess what? We go to 40, we go to 30, we go to 20, and then we go to 10, and that's it. This is a workout for time. You're gonna go as fast as you can without sacrificing form. I don't know why I'm pointing at um, Brandon. He has excellent form, but uh, without sacrificing form, that's what we're gonna do. So I think we're gonna go ahead and begin. Everyone's gonna um, start with their bells on the floor. Right in front. Good, just remember, whenever you um, come up to your kettlebell, one last thing to remember, it's a good rule of thumb to make sure that your heels are pretty much in line with that bell. So when you come down, keep that chest up. I don't want to ever see you go into a straight leg to lift up that bell. All right, guys, are we ready? Yeah. We're going to yeah. go in three, two, one, let's go. All right. What to remember, just like Brandon right here, notice how his strength is coming from his hips and he's popping that weight directly over his head. That bell is directly over his head. He's got a nice neutral position when he stands up, and then he's forcing that bell to go straight down. The same with Brandy right here, looking really good. Remember, these workouts are made to be fast. They are meant to be efficient. We are going to be working very hard and very quickly, so get you in that fat burning zone, and I'm gonna keep you there well after the workout is done. We're going into 50, everyone's working together. Drive up and lift. What I want you to really concentrate when you're doing these kettlebell swings is a strong, tight core. This is a core workout, so what you have to think about is that midsection the whole time you are doing this workout. Okay, driving up and lift. Lift. Breathing, Courtney, you look really good. Notice how all three of them have their heels dug into the ground. Their heels are dug into the ground. There's no coming up on the toes. We're trying to eliminate any unnecessary body movement. You come up and drive up. What number are we on, guys? 41. Good. So they've got approximately about 10 more. And then they're gonna go directly into the 50 sumo deadlift high pull. Nice. From there, up and 
Good. Courtney's going right into the sumo deadlift high pull. Here's the thing, again, remember, heels dug into the ground. You want to try to make that bell weightless, weightless. Drive up every single one. You come down, pop, down, pop, down, pop. Good, because this is a workout where we're going from 50 all the way down till 10. So what I really want to get you to do is try, if you feel like you need to take a break, you got to put that bell down, I want you to put it down, take a couple of breaths, and then get right back into it. These workouts are quick. i got to burn fat off your bodies, and i got to do it now. Up and down. Lift. Remember, you don't need to drive that bell so far up. As long as it's just going above your chest, you're going to be fine. Courtney, just bring that down just a little bit lower. Good. Drive up. Brandon, keep, Brandon keeping his weight into his heels. Drive up. Lift. Good. Best thing about this workout is you can do it at home. You can do it in your hotel room. Wherever you are, all you need is one piece of equipment, preferably a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, you need a dumbbell. But what I encourage you to do, what I encourage you to do is challenge yourself with the weight. If you start off, this is the first time you're working out, and you've got a lighter weight, that's great, but the stronger you get, the heavier that weight's gotta be. Nice. Good, and from those 50, now we're going into V-ups. This is a core workout, we've gotta hit those abs, and this is gonna be the way to do it. One thing to remember when you're doing this movement, try to use that momentum. A lot of times people are always like, you know, take the momentum out. I'm all about the momentum, I'm all about using the power in your hips, using your full body to get this movement going. Notice how Brandy right here, she's got those arms and she swings up. She pops up. Good. Good, Brandon, get up to those toes. My more advanced people, what I'm really looking for, and obviously these three are very advanced people. I want that form perfect every single time. Pop those feet up. Good, Brandon, up, lift. Nice. When you're doing this, you have to really concentrate on that midsection, holding your abs in really tight. Think about you putting on the tightest pair of jeans that you own. You gotta really pull that, <laughs> pull your abs in really tight. That's what I want you to think about while you're doing this. Your whole body's gotta be rigid. Your whole body's gotta be firm. Your whole body's got to be tight. Good. How are we doing, Brandy? <sighs> Surviving. Surviving. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds like a Bob Harper workout. How you feeling? Surviving. Up. Good. Lift. So, the best thing about this is, the workout, the numbers are going to reduce as you go from 50 now. Now we're going to be going into 40. You've been working out right now for approximately under five minutes. Under five minutes. Good. Up. Power up. And we're gonna go right into, good. Brandon, what number are we on? Uh, five left. Five left, up. And. Nice, Brandon. Up. And we're going into the 40s now. These kind of workouts, they have a light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I really like. So it's like, you know, the first, the first couple of sets, the 50 and the 40, and then the 30, but then all of a sudden, it's just smooth sailing. It's just like 20 and then 10. All I want you to think about is, I gotta get through these big numbers right now. You've already gotten through the 50s probably. Now you're in your 40s. We're gonna be powering it out from there. It's just smooth sailing. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay directed on what you wanna do. Skinny Rules Core Workout, wad number four. Workout of the day. It's all about taking that gas pedal and pressing it all the way down. Nice. Up. Good. Courtney, and with everyone, notice how everyone keeps their head looking up. So it's like what you want to do, you want to make sure that your vision is just slightly above parallel. So you're never looking down, you never start to get dizzy. So I, some, a lot of times I see people like looking down and looking up and you just like get a little head spin. Focus, look across your living room, across your bedroom, wherever you are right now. Get that one look, keep it right there. Nice. Nice. Sumo deadlift high pulls, we're on those 40s. That's it. 
Remember, my advanced people right here. Brandon keeps that head up. He's driving that weight all the way to the ground every single time. But just think about it. What you have to do every single day, you have to sit in a chair, right? You get up and you sit in a chair, you stand in a chair. That's the same motion. If you look at um, my athletes from the side, it's like it's as if they were sitting in a chair from the side and then they pop themselves right back up. Lift. So it's good, it's functional. Up and down, keeping that head up. Here's what I want, guys. I want to start seeing a little bit of speed in you. I want to get these workouts going. You guys look great. Let's power these workouts through. From here, we're going to go into those V-ups. 40. Good. Here's another thing to remember. What number are we on, you guys? 36. 30, good. They're all in sync with one another. All in sync. Good. Here's what I want you to think about when it's time to get on the ground for those V-ups. As long as you just keep moving, if you need to take a break, take a break. If you need to, if you feel like you're starting to feel any stress in your lower back whatsoever, I want you to really think about those abs staying pulled in and tight. This is supposed to be strengthening your back. This is not supposed to be weakening your body. So, if you start to feel anything, modify. You can go right to where Courtney is right here. Because I would think that Courtney's feeling this. Courtney, are you feeling this? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if you need to modify, modify. But what you need to do is keep track of how you did with these workouts. So when you go back to these workouts with the weights that you're using, and um, if you had to modify or not, keep track of that. So the next time you do it, and you can increase that weight, or you, have to, uh, you, you can get through a whole set of 40 without stopping, this is good to know because that's how you're getting stronger, and we're all getting stronger here. Good. Up and down. The 50s and the 40s are almost done, you guys. We have been going not even 10 minutes. This workout has not even been 10 minutes right now, and you've gotten through the hardest part. When, are you, when it's time for you to stand back up, you're gonna be in those 30s, and it's gonna be easy. Courtney, let's not stop. You're my modifier. Whew. This is smooth sailing for you, Courtney. <laughs> Good, you got your 40s, yeah? Yep. Come on, Brandon. Good. Up and down. Up and down. This is what did you hear Brandy back here? She's like, come on, Brandon. That's why I love these kind of workouts, man. I love these kind of workouts because everyone is working together. It's like, you know what? We're all a team right now getting through it. We're all a team just getting through it. Good, Brandon. Up and down. Up and down. Almost. Lift. Good. And he's up, and we're in our 30s. Here's what I want you to do, Brandon. I want you to get up to speed with these girls. Right, get, we'll get with them. Nice. So now, here's where fatigue is going to start setting in. Fatigue is going to be setting in at this point. What I want you to do is be very aware of your body movement. You have to be aware, because if you start feeling tired, you might want to just straighten those legs a little bit more. You want to start looking, looking down. No. When you start getting tired, that's where your form has to be even more impeccable. That's when you have to really be very aware of your body and what it's doing and how it's doing it. So concentrate. Look at these athletes. They're tired, they're sweating, but their form has not sacrificed at all. Good. Notice how Brandon has got a slight little bend in his arms. As long as he's locking out up on top, it's perfect. Good. Good solid adjustment right there. Up and down. Nice. And keep the body weight in the heels. Very, very important. We're on 30s. Let's bang through these. Up and down. Up. Lift. Good. Up. Up. That's right. Notice how Brandy's got this little wide, she's got a good wide stance because it gets her body a little closer to the ground. She's a smart girl. She's a smart girl. <laughs> Shorten that lever. That's it. What number, Brandon? Nine. And 30. 30, good. And. So think about it. We've been going for just over 11 minutes. We have been using our whole body 
but really concentrating on our core. I get people all the time going, Bob, I need a stronger core. You need a stronger core because the stronger your core is, the more functional your whole body is gonna be able to be in your everyday life. You've gotta have a strong core because what happens is, when you go out to the outer extremities, they get stronger too. Strong, tight here, always staying good and rigid. Good. We're on the 20s now, home stretch. Good, let's go Brandon, up and down, up and down, up and down. I know, see, this is a, these girls are way lighter than Brandon. How, how much do you weigh about? Two? 205. 205, he's got 205 pounds that he's on the ground trying to lift up and down, trying to keep up with these girls that probably weigh, like, weigh 130 and less. Good. And he's up, good. 20 and 10, this is easy. Here's what I don't want to see from these guys right now. What I don't want to see them do is stop. They're gonna get through this. We're gonna get this workout done. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we could get done with this workout definitely in less than 20 minutes. Uh, what I'd like to get is less than 18. What do we think? We can do that, right? No problem. We're at 13 minutes. We're at 13 minutes, we have 20 and 10. Uh, I don't know, could be, could be 16. Could be 16, Brandon. You got three minutes left. Power. Oh, and Brandy's focused. Brandy's like this. Oh, you wanna see this done fast? You're gonna get it done. <laughs> good, stay with us. Stay with us on this core workout. Wide number four, you're looking really good. Stay with me. We are powering out to the end. You're at home, you're breathing heavy, you're like, damn, Bob, did you really mean to say 50, 40, 30, 20, 10? Yes, I did. <laughs> Up. Let's go, girl. Good. Looking really good. Now. Courtney's got a very important job right now because she is that one at home that's never done the workout. As fit and strong as she is right now, she is showing you that you can modify and you can scale down any one of my moves for you in any of my workouts. Anything can be scaled down. We're on tens, right? Yep. Yes. We're at 10, we're at 14 minutes and 11 seconds. Brandon, you gotta go into a whole other gear. Up, we're almost done. There he is, he's up. We're on tens now, this is it. This is what I love about this workout. Now we're kind of like chasing that clock. We are trying to go as fast as we can. Notice how they're formed, look at that form. Everyone's looking good. Brandy's got that head up. She's never wavered from her form. Same with Courtney and the same with Brandon. Okay. Good. And now we're on our tens. Chasing that clock, we're at 14 minutes and 45 seconds. Stay with us, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. Gotta go. Up and down. And good, Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, and five. 15 minutes and 10 seconds. Job. Thank you. Excellent work. Look at that. Look at that. Skinny Rolls core workout wad number four. Great job.